Welcome back, everybody. Welcome if you are new. Today we're in the Arkham Menards here at Martinsville for a new week. Uh, fast as I've ran is like in the sixes, like a 670, but I'll be happy to get in the sevens because I can't get that consistently at all. Some people can get down to the low fives. They're very, very fast. And we do have a new logo on the channel. It'll be on the front of my car, but I'll post, I'll put, pop it up right now on screen also. I really like the way it looks. It's really cool. Has the arm for gaming around it in like a diamond and then also has the A4G in the middle, which I think looks pretty good. I've been wanting to get something new for a while now and finally got something together, which looks pretty good. I'm happy about it. But let's see if we can get a qualifying lap here. Try to get it right on the bottom, get it to roll. I hit the apron, so that's not going to be very good. Getting on the brakes wants to spin it out when you get on them too hard. Car's not super loose like it usually is at Martin's Hill. 20.04. 20. That's two. awful. I think my turn one was just so bad. Had to try to save it there. Really need to get it on the low side here. Kind of ran a little too high there. Don't think we're going to get very quick, but like to be respectable at least. 19. Oh, 684. Hell yeah, I'll take that. I will take that. I'm very happy with that lap. I'm kind of shocked by it. Honestly, that second lap did not feel, feel super fast by any means. But yeah, on the uh, front of the car, we got the new logo as well. I think it looks pretty good overall. I like the way uh, it'll fit on a car and stuff. And then uh, I think I put it on the back here. Oh, no, not on this. One. Oh, yeah, I put it down there without the name around it and stuff. But I added it to my cars that I run. I changed the amount due from the uh, front to the side here and everything. So... Uh, I think it looks pretty good. Hopefully, oh, I hit something. I don't even know what I hit. I tried hitting the F12. I think I hit F11, but uh, I'm happy about how we qualified there. Kind of shocked. We'll probably be about mid-pack anyways, but Gavin got an 844. I, Matthew is really fast lately. He's been grinding, and he's up to uh, number nine here in this lobby, so oh God, had a good qualifying time. I'm very happy about that. I don't know where we're going to end out in this race, but Jimmy ran up five track, track position is going to mean a lot here, so... I'll bring you guys back and get ready to take the green. We've got like two and a half minutes left in qualifying. I don't think everybody's going to end up running one. All right. Well, we're actually still in seventh, which I'm shocked by. That's actually really nice. And we're on the bottom. What a treat. Because uh, you definitely do not want to be on the outside for the restart in any, in any car here. So I'm really happy we're on the bottom. Even if we stay in seventh and the guy on the outside gets in front of us, so be it. I'm just happy we're starting on the bottom and I'm not going to lose a ton of spots being stuck on the outside early. That's like the worst thing in the world. So we're just going to do the best we can here. Try to maintain our track position. If we could get a top 10, I'd be stoked about that. I love Martinsville. I'm not great at short track racing, but I love Martinsville. It's a lot of fun. Just have to hope not to get ran over or run anybody else over is the main thing. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, I, there's probably going to be a pile up or two in this race. Good luck. I'd imagine. So I'm just hoping we'll be Good in front luck, of it and not a part of it. <clears throat> but good luck to everybody here. I need one here. clean race. That's all I need. <laughs> I think he's trying to get up to a C class or something. You're in the wrong spot for that. Yeah. Well, he's in the back. He's not in the I, wrong dude, spot. Dude, I freaking but... missed the, uh, the Charlotte race the hour prior, and that race would have pushed me over the edge. <laughs> oh, rip. That but here sucks. I am. I'm going to ride my ass in dead last if I don't get run over. <laughs> Hope you don't get run over by the front guys. They're gonna be flying. You don't get any extra cost All right, right, let's so get going. We got a faster pair. Let's uncheck our fuel and stuff just in case we have to go get our faster pair for any reason. Huh. <sighs> that didn't feel like running Charlotte. Decides to run Martinsville. Makes sense. Charlotte's probably gonna be a much cleaner race than uh this is. But who knows? Hopefully we can have a good one though. I'm shocked with where we're starting. That's awesome. Probably our best starting that I've had in, especially top split arc in a long ass time. I sort of wish these cars had horns. Had what? Horns? Gotcha. For some reason, I, it took a second for my brain to process what he said. But yeah, I'm excited with the new logo. Hopefully you guys like it. Let me know what you guys think about it. I think it looks pretty cool. Maybe that gave us some speed here for qualifying. Our first lap was awful, but second lap somehow turned up to be a good one. Like to all the great fans and hopefully you guys had a good holiday tonight. weekend. And then there's the New Year's right around back the back corner back. next weekend. Hope so hopefully everybody day. stays safe with that, with the fireworks and everything. Anything can go wrong in that. Who's on pole? Dal Dalton? 
For some reason, I thought it was Dylan, but it was Dalton. There's so many D names that I know that are like high up there and I rating all the time. All right, let's go. Let's have a good one. 55 laps. Oh, geez, that's a long race. So it won't be for Martinsville, but more laps than I was uh, ready for to see. Might be a restart zone, honestly. Getting into third gear, there is a little bit of wheel spin, oddly enough. So be careful about that. Still out there. Just gotta try to keep the car clean. Like I said, if he gets around us on the outside to start with, that's fine. Try not to run anybody over. They got on the brakes real early. So we're sitting in seventh. I'm fine with that. If we just run our line, I'll be happy. If we can just keep it along the bottom, try not to overdrive it and get loose, get the apron or anything, we'll be good to go. Because passing is probably going to be a pain in the ass. Because it's just going to be a bottom fest, but if you get moved up, you're going to be fighting for your life for the rest of the race, basically. Brakes definitely need to wear in some. Because when you get on them early, it just wants to like quickly throw the nose down and go sideways. So you got to be careful about that. Like I said, the setup's not as loose as normal for Martinsville, so it's nice. I do like that. Really trying to roll the center as much as possible. 20.0. Trying to let off early enough to where I'm not running these guys over, but also not getting run over. Okay, I got Shane right behind me. He's usually pretty quick. Most people are a higher car number than us, so we're already catching some lap traffic, yikes. Don't think there was a big wreck or anything in the beginning because we didn't we haven't passed any cars yet. That was a bad corner. You kinda wanna get like a nice straight shot on exit. You don't wanna be still turning right there on the bottom. Like that was much better. We clipped the apron barely, but we were fine. Better than clipping it center or corner or the beginning. Pushed a little bit too much. One and two is not as good to us. Don't know if I'm letting it roll too much or getting on throttle too early in one and two. Definitely screwing up there a whole bunch. Shane's getting good runs on us though. He's going to get to our inside soon. I'm losing the guys in front of us a little bit. I need to roll it a little bit better in the center of the corners. I'm getting on the brakes too much, I think. I just really don't want to wreck because there's going to be a huge pile up and you're going to have to let everyone go by if you spin out. It's going to be hard to get back up in line and stuff if uh, you spin out and everything. Especially if you do a 180. If you do a 180, then you're kind of screwed. If you're sideways, you can kind of manage it a little bit, but a 180, you're really screwed. Almost worth resetting at that point, but maybe not. But with the leaders coming up to the end of the field already, then maybe. Be very tough to get that going again. That was a good three and four. Got it turned down right on exit with the throttle. 19.956. Kind of shocked there wasn't a huge wreck in the beginning with somebody running somebody else over. Because that's so easy to do here. You can see how everybody's running like half a lane up on entry or something or a lane up on entry trying to get like a good turn in for the corner and getting it turned off the exit. That's the main thing. You want to get turned down for the exit. We have a pretty good gap behind Shane. I think Jordan's working his way up. That might be why. Like they were battling back there potentially. Why? Not 100% sure if that's why. 20.079. Like, I definitely don't think we're one of the fastest in here. We just had a really good qualifying time. I think wherever we would have qualified, we kind of would have been there. Actually, the 10th place car is, like, really far back there at this point. They're, like, three seconds back now. They might be like, in a dog fight back there. So, really, if Shane gets to my inside, it's not the worst thing. I can just let him go by, drop right back behind him. 
because Jordan is starting to catch uh, behind him. But it's not like a train behind Shane. <laughs> Bars. 20 .1 Took a real shallow entry there. We can get to the inside of anybody. That would be lovely. Probably be hard to make the pass if they pinch you. But some guys may not try to pinch too hard to not get spun out or anything. Oh, he got the wall a little bit down the front stretch. He's taking some really low entries into these corners right now. Like I said, if I could stay top 10, I'd be super happy with this race. Get some eye rating out of it. We've been in a downward spiral the start of the season with uh, dirt and oval. Just been downward spiral on eye rating. Some safety as well, but the safety's fine. I'm not that worried about it. I think we might be up in safety a little bit, actually. I'm rolling the center a little bit better than this 31 in front of me. This is actually the 20, but the 31 on his car. The old Robbie Gordon scheme. I used to like that scheme a lot. That and the Johnson scheme in front of him. Very recognizable schemes. Shane's really catching us now. I had a couple bad corners there. As soon as I said I was rolling the center better than the 31. To when I started screwing up. Jordan's definitely catching us. Mike's catching us a little bit back there in 10th also. But only a couple tenths at this point. Jordan's definitely catching us faster. Somebody's going in the pits. Thank you, Paul. That may be a lap car. It is. 100% a lap car. So no spot there. I think that guy's just trying to stay out of everybody's way, not getting any incidents. Just need a log laps to get some safety. If that's what you're here for. Oh, he's spinning. That's for a position. Sounds like he might have gotten the brakes a little too hard. With him saying oops, he wasn't mad at anybody. That's up to sixth. I'll take it. We're just running in line, doing the best we can. And River got in front of Jordan there, so they might be battling some. Oh yeah, he's right on him back there. I looked up in the mirror for a second. Jordan's right on River back there. There's a lot more people that registered this than I expected. There's over 100 registrations for a Martinsville race, which is shocking. I really thought this was going to be a real low participation race and the strength of field was going to be weird, but we still have a pretty good strength of field like normal. So I'm really happy about that. Because then we weren't like, me and Gavin weren't like a weird number like higher up than we normally are, but we're, norm we're normally like a low number like this and still back here, which is fine. River probably got his back tires really heated up from that spin out that half spin out he was just sliding but I'm assuming he got on the brakes too hard because right on entry it looked like somebody either got in the back of him or he spun out just getting on brakes I'm assuming he got out he spun out getting on brakes with his oops got Larry right up here we're catching him that's a that, nothing I've ever said in my life that we're catching him not that he's in third because he's always really fast. He's always, he's usually car number one unless uh, Derek Justice is in here. Always really, really fast. He's always really good on the mile and a half. So him doing well on a short track is interesting. He must be uh, stepping up his game. 20, 2, 5, 6. Running some more multifacet racing. Other than the big tracks. Jordan's 1.2 back because he got checked up from River. But he got around him pretty quick. And River's not really catching back up right now. So that's nice. If we can get a P5 out of this, that would be mind-blowing to me. I would be super, super shocked. Top split. Would not have expected that at all. This has been a super, super clean race. Nobody wants to get into each other. That was a terrible corner for me. I had to really wait on the throttle. Try to pinch him down some. He's able to get on throttle. I got in that wall, which slowed us down a ton. I followed the 31 right into it. 
It was just bad on me. I don't want to fight him side by side for too long, but I feel like we're a little oh, faster God. than him. But there's a train coming, so I cannot battle him too much. I just have to let him by. There is a lot of cars behind Jordan. So can't fight, fight Shane for too much. I tried for a couple corners, wasn't going to make it happen, just had to drop back. I screwed up by getting in the wall and giving him that opportunity. But maybe Jor uh, maybe Shane will screw up enough and we can get back by him. I'm just mad I followed the 31 up into it, man. Might have been able to make a, a move on him, honestly. I don't know if I need to drop the brake bias back at all. Oop, he got loose there. Do that again. Times haven't fallen off too bad. A couple tenths, for sure, because I have been I was running the uh, 20s in the beginning of the race. Oh, God. He got on brakes real early. Or just harder than I was expecting. <laughs> we saved it, at least. That was terrifying. Didn't run into the back of him. Big moment, though. Now we got Jordan right on our ass. Hopefully, I can pull back away from him. I was doing really well a second ago before we uh, had that slight slide. Ever since I touched the wall, I've been screwing up. <laughs> Need to just lock back in, get back up to Shane, hopefully try to get around him because he's been getting really loose off these corners. Our car hasn't been too loose, so I'm really happy about that. Keep having that little bit of a slide on entry when we get on brakes too hard, but it's easy to save. It wasn't anything like when we uh, almost got in the Shane. But Jordan's very very fast. He doesn't have two he people are kind of far away from him behind so I can kind of drop behind him if he gets inside of us really quick can't battle him for more than like a corner but hopefully we could stay in front of him 20 point three, nine, four. 20 that's the main thing but he is catching up very quickly he's got to get a good run on exit to get by us he seems to get it like mid corner, not really on exit that much. We had a good corner there. 20, 3, 8, 8. I think there's a lap car in front of Larry up there. Could be. That was a terrible exit by me. He might get inside of us. He backs off. I drove it a little deeper also. I just didn't get it rotated enough coming off of turn two. Got on throttle a little early. 20. Yeah, I think that's a lap car uh, Larry's getting by. Yeah, one and two just has been really bad for me. I need to get my braking down in one and two a little bit better. Just everywhere you need a brake for this track, the stuff on the wall does not help. I like tracks where the stuff on the wall or on the side of the track really help your braking zone. Like your area you're going to brake and this track is not one of them. Because the stuff going into three and four there, you have to break before that. The stuff on one and two, you break after that. So it's just like a weird timing. All right, let's not catch this guy in a bad spot, hopefully. Hopefully we can get by him quite easy. See, when I get on that little bit of a slide, like you see me into that corner sometimes, is when I'm breaking late. And I get on the brakes a little too hard. Yeah, one and two is just a little bit too tight for me than it is in three and four. Three and four is like perfect for me. Cannot leave the bottle open. I almost ran too high on entry. Cause I didn't want to get that slide. 20.501. Dang, it's 15. I'm trying I want to get by him, but we're not really catching him that quick. He's running really well right behind Shane. Yeah, I think there's just like a little bit better uh, turning like it rotates just a little bit better in three and four I think Jordan got the wall there on the front stretch Maybe I need to run slightly higher to get it to cut down I don't know Because three and four just really hooks 
I just rotate it so much better. Almost up to 10 laps to go, though. Really want to finish here. It'd be awesome. Sorry, eight. Don't know who the eight is, but he got into them. That's unfortunate. 20.549. Don't know if that's going to cause a spin out somewhere. I don't sorry, see any smoke. Sorry. Oh, Gavin got into somebody. That's shocking. He's a really clean driver. I don't know where I'm he sorry, is. Man. All good. This is for track oh, into the into Mike. Interesting. That's around 10th, I think. I think that was 10th and 11th because Kyle in 12th was in 10th now. Jordan's Thanks catching us. He's definitely catching us a lot into turn one is what it is. It's on the entry of one. I think he got the wall right on the entry there. He got tight on me. He's going to get a run. Not enough. I overdrove a little bit. We're fine. Save that. Don't know how we're holding on to this right now. Got to be a little bit more aggressive in the one like that. Need to get this thing down there. Less than 10 laps to go. Come on. We got this. Good exit off of four. Just need that like 10 more times. A little or maybe 12, something like that. Oh God, 15, you scare me. Cause you started breaking out a really weird ass and we got wrecked by Jordan. Just ran in the back of. That's frustrating. I got screwed up by that lap car so bad. Somehow we did a 360 and kept going. I'll take that. But that's unfortunate. Got really, really screwed up by that 15 car on entry there because he started braking early. Like he was going high, but he could have done his normal braking to go high. Or at least indicated like on the mic or something. I would have shot low early because I wasn't expecting the brake early. And that really screwed me up. I think Jordan ended up like wrecking, wrecking from that. We did a 360 and kept going. We're still in 10th. Almost had seventh there in this race though, for sure. We should be able to hold it onto this. No problem. Mike's like half a second behind us. As long as I don't screw up. You can lose half a second real quick here though. So let's try not to. But luckily, I practice doing like 360s, not on purpose uh, and not even at this track, but a bunch of other tracks in practice. I usually go really hard, try to find the limits of cars. I'm really good at like doing 360s like that and just keep on rolling. So I'm happy about that. Gavin's back there in 12th. He's having a good race. Gavin's in ninth ahead of us. The other Gavin Lemons. If you want to see either their perspective, Gavin Rob Chan, the one in 12th. It's just his name. Look up Gavin Rob Chan. Gavin Lemons in front of us is Griffin2448, I believe. Very good oval racer. We should have finished seventh, though, in this race. That's frustrating. I think if it wasn't for the lap car there, I think we would have finished seventh. Because we had a really good race going, and that, that really messed us up. So it is what it is. We'll get home with a top 10 in an ARCA race. I'm super happy about that. Could have definitely been better, but I will definitely take it. It's not a big deal at all. I'll take 10th, though. That'll give us some I rating right, gain and everything. Go. Good race, though. Very good race. Don't Great miss race, the win. Everybody. Good job. Oh, that, good was, one, that was a uh, hard 55 laps, let's say. Awesome race there, Larry. Uh, good win, Dolan. Good job out there, driver. Good solid day. Thanks, man. Great track. Yeah, I'm going to come next to us. <laughs> yeah, girls with blue. Whoa, Whoa, we got problems, Wendy. Tempers are flaring. <laughs> I wonder where. I, I don't know if it's just somebody on the back or anything. That was a fun-ass yeah, race, though. I'm happy with the top 10. Line. We don't get that often. Let's go back to that where it happened with uh, 
Jordan here because we got screwed up by the 15 in the turn three so bad. What were my tires? 92. Mine were 90, 94. Probably from the spin, so it's not really relevant that much because of our spin. But the 15 just broke so early into that, and I was not expecting it. Like, he just broke so much earlier. We save it, and then I just start getting onto the exit and just got hit by Jordan. Spun out. He spun out. I did a 360 and kept on rolling. What happened to him? Did he just fall back further? Uh, he fell back to 13, so... Uh, I thought Matthew was uh, in front of him. Did he get him in the last lap or something? Oh, with like two to go. He got inside of him and got by him. So Matthew had a rough race. He started 13th, finished 14th. Not bad at all. But hey, I'll take 10th. I'm very happy with the top 10 there. Uh, let's go see any instance that did happen through the race. I don't know how many really did because it seemed like a pretty, pretty clean race overall. Oh, there's two 07s. Oh, this is uh, Cole, the other 07, I guess, because Matthew was in that same car, it looks like, unless uh, the, I, I, the uh, train paint is all screwed up. That was literally, literally lap three. Three car kind of pile up in a way. 24 Jeff Gordon car, that looks clean. I like that. He got bumped by the seven, though. That's unfortunate. Not sure who that was. Brandon there. What did he say? Yeah, it was, uh, it was just a messed up thing there at the end. It was no problem at all. I know Jordan's a clean driver. Ooh, he just spun out. He got into... Uh, that was a uh, river right there. Like, he spun out just going in the corner. That's what I was expecting. He just got on the brakes. It kicked out on him. Just didn't save it in time. It slid up the track. And luckily, he didn't spin out all the way. 18 got into the 53 there. And 12 got the apron, it looks like, behind them. And this is where it was on the inside of me. Oh, and he went up and hit the wall, too. Like, if to me, you can just check all the way up in that. And, uh, oh, this was the tempers flaring in the back. <laughs> 24 wrecked the 7, which, yeah, he got ran over by him. And then Dalton doing his burnout. So, yeah, we got a top 10. I'll take it. Uh, some incidents that happened. No, nothing really around us besides what happened to us. So, it was a pretty clean race, which was fun. And uh, I had a really good one. Should gain some rating now. This for the first time this season. And I'm really happy about that. So, let's go see what we end up getting out of the results. All right, results in strength. The field is just over 3,700. That's pretty solid. Got a little bit of safety. I think we got, did we get a 4X or a 2X from that? We got a 2X from that loss of control technically, but uh, we gained 33 out of that. I'm happy about it. Uh, over 3,100 again, which is awesome. Uh, what did Gavin get back here? Gavin got plus 11, solid. Did he have a zero X? He did, nice race. Uh, Gavin, excuse me, Gavin Limits had one incident. How did he get it off track? Maybe in the, um uh corners i don't know that's the only place i could think of but he got literally a 1x that's kind of weird matt back here lost 17 damn he's up to 36 almost 3700 he's been grinding like hell he's been really fast lately so mike back here got plus 13 a pretty solid race by everybody larry got fourth and uh we were right behind connor there and he ended up getting around larry how far ahead was he at the end oh wow he was side by side with him at the end so that's crazy i think we could have finished right around there shane we were right behind for the longest time because he got around us good racing by all of them that was a lot of fun so our best finish by far and it at arca top split uh in forever pretty much so i'm very happy about that hopefully things start turning around for us a little bit in the season and stuff and uh we can start getting some better racing like this so appreciate you guys for watching as always and i'll catch you guys in the next one